There goes Puff. Certainly hope she's not gonna run away somewhere. Get ready, cause this is year six of daily vlogging. Good morning, good morning. I will never understand why my neighbors just seem fine with letting their cats, well, especially Puff, just, you know, kind of roam outside when it's getting colder. Meanwhile, Nola's on the piano. Hi. Anyway, but I'm heading to the church. The fog this morning is insane. Like, wow. All right. Look at my sweater. I love it. And look at the... So pretty. They're giving these away outside of church. So cute. It's later. Um, I finished work. It's 8.36, so I finished like two hours ago. It went well, um, but we had someone who is covering for our normal weekend editor and definitely had some trouble getting her to respond to some questions like in a timely manner when I was asking questions about a post that I was trying to write. Anyway, um, I finished reading my book, which was Nancy Drew, The Password to Larkspur Lane. Um, they're just fun. They're fun reads. Um, um, but I I feel like I say this all the time, but like... I truthfully do, like, I sit here in this house and I just, I really cannot get over the sense of, like, gratefulness that I feel and, like, thankfulness that I feel. Like, I am, I am so beyond grateful to be sitting here right now. I'm, I'm, I just, I can't, it hits me, I kid you not, if it's not every day, it's every other day. And it's been, what, I've been here almost six months now? Doesn't matter. It's every day or every other day that I just, I at least have a moment where I sit here and I'm like, wow, I'm so thankful to be here right now. And I, you know, this would not be possible without my parents and my grandparents. And I'm just, I'm, I, I just, I really hope they know. And my parents watch these, so I just, I really hope they know how much this means to me and how appreciative I am because this truly like I I cannot even believe that before I moved here I don't want to say the life that I was living before I moved here because that sounds dramatic but you know what I mean like you know like the job that I had where I was living all of that I cannot believe that that was the same year like the the, the second half of this year feels so vastly better than the first half of this year and I really didn't realize how much I was unhappy in many ways until I was out of the situation that I was in and I just I'm so thankful to have my own space I'm so thankful to to be where I am I'm so thankful to have the jobs that I do that allow me to live this you know to to pay the mortgage and to live this life like I just I I cannot I can't get over it I can't get over it and I just I sit here and I'm like wow just wow I just I I the, grateful and thankful aren't even the proper words I'm there I'm so much more than that those are just the closest words that we have in the English language to that feeling but it that doesn't even touch on it that that does not it's so so much more than that so just it made me today's today made me think of it because there's a, a thing on Instagram I reposted on my story and it's like a cute little um it has like numbers like one through 34 and it's like oh um like a recap of 2022 really and so someone can kind of comment and say like what uh what number they would like to see and so um one of them was the thing I spent the most on this year and originally I thought it was going to be like oh the books obviously and then I was like no it's the house because not even the down payment of the house, but the mortgage on the house, like in the six months I've been here, that has obviously been the most expensive. But, you know, so I mean, I feel like if I say so worth it, that sounds bad. But like, truthfully, I mean, this is it's everything. It is the per. this is the perfect house for me. And to be able to be living in it when I am is just 
mind-blowing to me. So there's my little grateful rant for the, the day. Which, and as I said, I think it every day or every other day, but I don't say it on here every day. But I thought I would. to bed. Um, weirdly enough, I have, pretty sure, I have random small hives on my wrist. Only, only on my wrist. I only just noticed them now. I don't know what I could have come in contact with that could have caused them, especially in that area, because it's on, like, the outside. If I were to face my arm like this, they're on the side that's facing the camera. They're underneath this. They're not, ter they're tiny, but they're definitely raised, and they're definitely red. So, I've only ever had hives at one other time in my life, thankfully, very mild hives. Um, and when I was, I was, like, nine or ten, and it was when I was having a ton of strep throat in a row, and they tried a new medication um that was sulfa medication and that's the only medication so far that I'm allergic to and and it causes hives um and that's how we found out about that so very interesting I don't know if it's my watch did my watch come in contact with something I'm gonna wipe it down with the Clorox Clorox wipe tomorrow um anyway just to see and I'll you know look at them in the morning um they're not super itchy or anything I can definitely tell that they're there and if they do get itchy for whatever reason, I do have anti-itch cream, which is good. But yeah, very strange. Um, I don't know where that came from. Anyway, but I'm heading to bed. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. On the social media, it's in the description. Love you all.